Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Lucklight Plays. We're continuing our run through of Circle of the Moon. And uh, I did open up that hole, so I'm going to jump in and uh, get into it. There we go. It's a life up. Pretty useful. Anyway, I uh, picked up the two cards that I promised I was going to get uh, in between episodes, because I couldn't get it during the episodes. That's the Venus card and the Mandragora card. Now, the Venus card, it uh, increases stat boost. It, it, it's basically a stat boost card depending on what my attribute is, so damn strength up, defense up, luck up. You get the point. Uh, the whip for Mandragora is the Whip of Thorns, which I kind of personally like. I think it looks neat, and it hits pretty hard lot of enemies, so this was one of my favorites for a while, so I'm going to use it. Uh, not on these weak enemies, though, because they don't need it. So what we need to do is we need to get back to where we were, uh, now that we picked up that health up, and we can continue on our journey through this iteration of Castlevania. Which, uh, frankly, I'm starting to see why this was a less popular version. It seems like a really slow slog compared to things like Symphony of the Night or Aria Sorrow or Portrait of Ruin. Uh, Portrait of Ruin actually is one of my favorite ones. Uh, Symphony of the Night, of course, is, you know, a staple, so. But this one, I had I had fond memories of this one, mainly because I think it was the first, uh, it was actually the first one I played. Not the first Castlevania I played, I played the original ones that had, uh, you know, Simon Belmont, but back on Nintendo, but uh, this was the first uh, Metroidvania I played. And you may be saying, oh, what the hell, why didn't you play Civil of Night first, because that was the first one. I never had it. I never really had it on PS1 until after the fact. Uh, I had a friend I borrowed it from, but his CD ended up scratched, so I never finished it. But uh, what happened was um, a friend of mine back in the day he, uh, he said, like, you know, Castlevania is a lot different now. Like, Castlevania is, you know, about exploration. You can level up and stuff. And I'm like, well, really? Castlevania used to be about, like, very difficult jumps. And, you know, I can't make my whip go far enough <laughs> to hit things. So, it turns into, you know, I was very surprised at that. So I was like, alright, I'll give it a try. And... I really enjoyed this one, so I went back to play Symphony of the Night and absolutely adored that one. Where the hell am I going? <clears throat> but, uh, Area of Sorrow, I think it's, uh, one of the ones that really hooked me in. Uh, Harmony of Dissonance. I may play on the channel later. Sorry about that, I have a little bit of a hiccup issue here. Uh, Area of Sorrow, I might, I might play on the channel, same thing with Harmony of Dissonance. Uh, Harmony of Dissonance is actually uh, what they did to smooth out a lot of uh, this game and make, you know, really make the series into its own. You know, it really encapsulated what uh, Symphony Knight was supposed to be doing. Uh, it falls flat on a few things, but, you know, it, it did a lot better attempt than this one, I think. And then Arya Saro just kind of nailed it. That was a very fun one. So much that it got a sequel. <laughs> you know, so... Can't really, uh... Can't really complain about that. Trying to the hallway. So I guess we're going this way. I have no idea what's over here, so... Yeah. Let's just go. Prison guard. Everything is just basically right now me jumping. Got a mine restore, that'll help. Secret I didn't really know was here. Fell into the hit point max. Did I just pick up something? Oh, 
Sounds junk. You got an arm guard. More defense if I need it. I'm kind of pumping for attack right now. When things are dead, they can't actually hit you. Undead they can. Come on. In your perfect throws. Where the heck am I going? Oh, this is the entrance. Looks like I can finally leave and do what I'm told and get out of here. Yeah, this is always a staple in every Castlevania, the, uh, the entrance hallway. It's always full of zombies. This one has a flame armor. Wrecked me. Uh, let's see. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm probably not going to do very well on this guy. Now. No, I did it. Now, I don't know if he has a uh, a card or not. Oh, there's a cross here. Of course, I can't get out. pretty unsure about that. So I'll have to... If he does, I'll go back and get it, eventually. I don't think he does. And I already have the fire one. So there is uh, some upgrades over there in that entrance thing, that's what that was, but I do not have the abilities to get them. Same thing with that. Gotta have that holy boomerang. You might have known this, but uh, the holy boomerang, also known as the cross, was an actual cross in the first game. The first Castlevania. You were actually throwing a legit cross, uh, but they changed it to quote unquote the boomerang uh, when they ported it over here because of you know religious references, no good. But you're not fooling anybody. Not fooling anybody, Konami. <laughs> Something you're kind of bad at is fooling people. Those skeleton soldiers actually drop good armor, so let's see if I can increase my intelligence here. Or not my intelligence, my luck. Let's see if I can get lucky. Pick it up. Maybe not. <laughs> he sees an axe fly at you. This will go up. Probably won't be able to get far to here. I don't have a wall jump. Nope, that's it. No secrets. At least they're nice enough to, uh, in later games, they were nice enough to uh, allow you to re-pick up your uh, sub-weapon when, you when you drop it. In other games, they would just replace it, and that was it. You were, you were stuck, so. And they would use that as a mechanic, too. They'd be like, haha, let's put, him, let's put a dagger here. And I'll screw him up. Alright. 
try the other direction. I need a save point. And there it is. Good stuff. Let's find out what's up here. Another big room. Electric skeleton. I wonder if they drop a card. Outer wall. Nice job, stupid. Now, I don't think I really get anything here. Uh, might as well give it a shot. Without getting a face full of bomb. Oh, lightning skeleton. out of uh, range to jump up there. <laughs> I made a lame jump, sorry. This feels like a leap of faith. There we go. Is there anything up there? I had a... I lost my cross. I didn't really realize. Oh, brains. Now, something you can do with those brains. I'll show you in a second here. I'll go the other way just in case. See if there's anything over there. I hope you don't think I know where I'm going, because I don't. We're doing the exploration part. Alright, so. Remember how we could freeze enemies? Here's what we do. And hit. Just like Metroid. And of course I screwed it up they were too far apart. <laughs> wow. Apparently when a... Oh, geez. Apparently when a brain touches you, you go flying about 50 feet back. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that just made me kind of mad. Alright, so I don't see anything over there. And of course. Of course. Damn it. Alright. We'll try that later. Uh, let's go back down. Looks like there's more to that than I have for items like the, uh, there's like a better, even better jump thing. A little rock wing. Alright. Son of a bitch. I may need that for that section, so I'll check it out later. I 
And yes, if you're just sitting there thinking, wow, he's really bad at that, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Ooh. I've never been good at the, uh, the platform jumps. Alright, another rock I can't get through. What else can we do? Uh, we can go down. Skip that part. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can get back up there and uh, clear that path there that I missed. Another, uh... Alright, that path to the right, I believe, was blocked. Alright, let's try this. No, when I meant to the right, I mean, like, a little bit down into the right. Looks like a hallway. Looks like, I think that was blocked. This will get a lot easier when things open up more, and, and of course, it's zapped. When things uh, open up a little bit more, then I'll be able to take on those sections. Alright. Might as well get my hit points back. Where is that jump? It's over here. Not there. A little bit farther down. And I apologize if my commentary is... Ah, damn it. <laughs> Lackluster. It's... This doesn't feel like a, a game that I can really talk much about. Because it's just, you know, jump it and slice them with your whip. And then screwing up jumps. That's about it. Gotta let my actions do the talking, and my actions aren't talking very well. <laughs> I'd love to get one of those armors from this guy, the Skeleton Soldiers. They, uh, their rare drop is a, uh, a better armor, I remember that. I remember getting a few back in the day. So that's it, that's, all I, that's pretty much all I remember. I could jack up my luck, but... Ah, damn it! I keep screwing that up. I'm just gonna skip that for now. Okay. I guess I can jump, go back up to the uh, outer wall and do it that way. This feels lame that I can't do any of this crap. That sucks that you have to run all the way around. That's kind of BS. I'm doing my best, I promise. I'm gonna give it one more shot. Just a terrible jumper. There we go. I did it. <laughs> Ugh. I'm gonna make sure there's no <laughs> secret areas here. Be, I don't wanna come back here, ever. Right, I had to run and then jumped. The second jump. Alright, so let's go back up to the outer wall. Get 
lasered again. Wrong way, stupid. Cartoon bombs are really weak. You'd think they'd be a lot stronger than, say, touching a other thing. Should I give this another shot? I find that when I'm suffering, then I, <laughs> I do better. Get here, orb. Just had to take that in the face. Son of a bitch. It would not be hard if you didn't go, you know, flying 50 feet. Oh, I can go through them. I'm thinking... Damn it. I admit I was thinking of uh, Metroid when I was doing this at first, because you can't jump through them when they're frozen in this game you can. So it makes it a tiny bit easier. Hey, I made it. I was trying not to do that. Turn that off. Nope. Careful here. Because I don't want to do this again. Come on. There we go. And there's nothing here. So now what? Oh, okay. It was just floor. I thought I was going to fall back down. There we go. Max up. See? Not a complete failure. Just takes a few tries. <laughs> it's sent all the way back down. Alright, let's get down here. every time. I'm gonna try to the left. Oh, that rock I can't break. More soldiers. Oh, war point. And that leads back to where I started. And a button. So that was that blue door right in the beginning. Yeah, unfortunately, this warp, you can't choose where you're going. They didn't implement that yet, so you just have to keep warping until you get to where you want to go. And also, it, uh, Simp of the Night had a little mechanic that you, uh, you could see where you were going based on the animal head that was on the wall. Uh, this one doesn't. You just have to Open it, look at your map, open it. Alright, can I not get back up there? Am I stuck? Oh no, I'm just an idiot. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so we're almost done with this episode. I'm gonna clear this hallway, get hit by lightning more. And uh, 
Alright, we'll see what's over here real quick. Match point max. Alright, this is a good place to stop. So, on the next episode, we will continue on through the castle and uh, hopefully screw up some less, less times and we'll see what we can find. So, hope you join me for that. My name is Lucklight, thank you for watching, and have a good one.